What's going on everybody? You see a Jaguar back with JinJag.com and today is a little bit of an emotional day for Jaguar fans as there have been two fan favorites that have been released. First of all, very long time tenure Jacksonville Jaguars tied in. Mercedes Lewis has been cut. Uh, he's been on the team for 12 seasons and also Alan Hearns, four-year veteran of the University of Miami that we got undrafted, has also been cut. So in this video, we're going to talk about it. So let's get it. Now, first I'll talk about wide receiver Alan Hearns. Now, Alan Hearns was a part of the legendary 2014 draft class that the Jaguars had. However, we did not acquire him through the draft. He was actually a part of undrafted free agency that season. And he really put on right when he got onto the field. I mean, he was really good in the preseason, obviously earned a roster spot. And he really broke out in 2015 when Allen Robinson and Allen Hearns, you know, both had 1,000-yard seasons. Uh, you know, Allen Hearns had 1,031 yards on 10 touchdown receptions. So um, that was obviously a really good year for him. So the Jaguars decided to uh, get him on a contract extension, basically a four-year extension as opposed to the other two years he had remaining left on his really, really cheap undrafted deal. But unfortunately, in 2015, Alan Hearns had more yards than he had in 2016 and 2017 combined as he proved to be really just not very durable and he was kind of always on the just injured list with different soft tissue kind of things. He had an ankle that he missed obviously a lot of last season from and that was really a trait that he didn't really have much in his first two seasons. The guy was very durable and the guy would always just get whacked like crazy and be able to get right back up and play. Now I'm not super surprised about this just because you look at the Jaguars kind of wide receiving core right now and he might be the fifth best player. You know we have obviously our two four top guys are going to be Moncrief, Marquise Lee, D.D. Westbrook, and Keelan Cole, you know, those two young guys that they're really fond of. And really, there's just not much room left for Alan Hearns on his deal. I mean, he's making a lot of money, and, you know, I'm sure they tried to hold on to him to trade him, but they probably really didn't get anything for him. So now he's a free agent, and unfortunately, the A team between Alan Robinson and Alan Hearns is no longer there. I mean, it's just crazy. The Jaguars really haven't been very good at wide receiver in their whole franchise's history. Uh, the only four guys we have with over a thousand receiving yards are Jimmy Smith, Keenan McCardell, and then Al Robinson and Alan Hearns. So, you know, half that group is now gone from our team. And, uh, you know, hopefully, I, like, I'm, I'm happy with this move because I still do think we need to draft a number one wide receiver in the draft, you know, kind of like a Cortland Sutton or something like that in the first round. Somebody that we can make our number one wide receiver because I do think our offense definitely needs that. Uh, you know, but right now our wide receiving core is full of a bunch of, you know, above average guys. So uh, just not much, you know, really number one supreme power. So that's something we have to work on, you know, coming up in the draft. And obviously Alan Hearns just wasn't a roster fit here anymore. It's just crazy the way you look at it just because the first two years uh, when this whole Mark Heasley, Alan Robinson, Alan Hearns mix was all together, you would never think that Marquise Lee would be the only guy to make it onto a second contract with the Jaguars. So uh, it's just crazy when you look at it like that. So next up, we have Mercedes Lewis, who also got cut. A tight end we required in the first round of the 2005 NFL draft out of UCLA. We also drafted Maurice Suns Drew in the second round of that same draft. Both guys from UCLA. And uh, Mercedes Lewis was a long tenure Jaguar. He was with the Jags for 12 seasons. He was just a big dude, and you know, in his whole career, he combined for 4,500 receiving yards and uh, 33 touchdowns. And it just sucks the way he had to go, just because you know he didn't really leave on good terms. Uh, we had our uh, dinosaur Paul Puzlesny retire as a Jaguar, but uh, Mercedes Lewis kind of went out expecting to play. You know, they picked up his option to keep him for another year. But in free agency, we decided to get Niles Paul, and we actually scored Austin Sinferian Jenkins, a guy that the Jaguars probably did not think that they might have been able to get just because maybe his price tag was going to exceed what he was going to, uh, what the Jaguars expected him to get. But, you know, the Jaguars got a guy in Austin Sinferian Jenkins, and he's basically a clone of Mercedes Lewis. Uh, you know, Mercedes Lewis is 6'6", 267, while Austin Sinferian Jenkins is 6'6". 260 and they just have very similar body types they're both big 
strong hand kind of dudes. And, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Austin Zafarian Jenkins does because I think that that was a home run free agency signing, especially getting him for like, I think it was two years, $10 million, something like that at the top of my head. Uh, he, I think, is going to be really good now that he had his resurgent year with the Jets and he is, you know, obviously he's had been sober for a while. But Mercedes Lewis will definitely be missed in my opinion because he was still a very, very good run blocker. Um, obviously, he slowed down a little bit in a passing game. I mean, you can just tell he doesn't have the same kind of speed and explosion, but he's been able to be a re decent pass catcher when they didn't expect him to be. You know, we got Julius Thomas in 2015 to be able to be our pass catching tight end. Obviously, he was injured, just didn't work. You know, he wasn't a very good player. He didn't really work out. And last season, we got Mike Rivera, who obviously didn't see the field. So, uh, you know, we were kind of putting him into that receiving role, and he didn't really, wasn't really designed to be. But, you know, now we are going to be expected a big role out of Austin Sferian Jenkins to be able to pick up on his run blocking ability. And, you know, I'm not sure too much how good he is in a run blocking category. It's something I'll definitely want to, you know, watch some Jet games and figure out. But, uh, you know, Mercedes Lewis being gone definitely stinks. I mean, 12 seasons he's been with the Jaguars. That's remarkable. Uh, and now when you look at it, the, now that Chad Henney is gone, now that Paul Pazuzzi is gone, uh, you know, now Mercedes Lewis, the longest tenure Jaguars we have are Avery Jones and Carson Tinker that we've had since 2012 or 2013. So that is really crazy. So now that Mercedes Lewis is gone, our tight end group now has, we have four tight ends. Basically, obviously we signed Niles Paul and Austin Safarian Jenkins in free agency and we still have Ben Koyak and O'Shaughnessy. Now, I would have liked to keep Mercedes Lewis, but I heard something somewhere about how he was threatening to sit out during off-season kind of group activities and kind of just because I think he was didn't really like the Sinferian Jenkins signing. So if he's someone that's going to do something like that when we're on the verge of having a Super Bowl season, then we don't really need that kind of distraction uh, when it comes to just the kind of aging player that he is. So those are my thoughts of us cutting veterans Alan Hearns and Mercedes Lewis. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'm out.